The purpose of the device is to augment some of the work that the soldier is doing while they're carrying a heavy load. We're in the SPEAR Soldier uh, Performance Equipment and Advanced Research Facilities Biomechanics Lab. So what you saw today was an evaluation of a prototype device that was developed by the um, Harvard uh, Weiss Institute team for the DARPA Warrior Web Program. Um, so the purpose of the device is to augment some of the work that the soldier is doing while they're carrying a heavy load to try to alleviate some of um, the muscle strain and also the energy expenditure that they have during that task so that they are more prepared for um, performing other tasks at the end of a long uh, load carriage mission. Okay, ready? Good. All right, we'll follow you. They are walking three miles through our cross-country course, which consists of a paved roadway and then also um, two miles of semi-rugged terrain to give them a more operational and uh, relevant environment to navigate through. The tests that we're doing here are to evaluate the performance of the system, so whether determining whether or not it actually does reduce energy expenditure um, or if it helps them walk faster um, during the low carriage task. The soldiers wore the system last week in training over the course of uh, three days with increasing loads and um, took them a little bit of time to initially get used to it, but several of them reported to me on uh, Friday that they felt like they were getting used to the system and that they could feel how it was helping them. My name is Specialist Cacciatore. We're at the Aberdeen Perfect Grounds Army Research Facility. Well, we saw me uh, conducting SA trials for the um, mechanical suit that's supposed to help people rock and prevent muscular scoliosis. It, it's like a rubber band. It, when uh, you can feel tension, but when you take a step, it helps pull your leg up and helps relieve tension off the muscle. Usually with, when you don't wear the machine, you feel all that way on your muscles. And, so there's, there's a little bit of a difference there. I'm not about sure about performance, but I think medically it can help a lot of soldiers out, prevent muscle tears and other future injuries mm -hmm. that has to do with like heavy lifting, rucking. I think it could help them medically. They've been working on the development of this particular device for about three years now. So um, this is the first time they've brought this version of the system to us for testing. And then they'll be returning again in October and they'll be doing the same protocol but with an extra lap of the course. So we'll be doing six miles total. So was, was that a comfortable pace for you at the very beginning? Oh yes sir. Where we were all kind of running to keep up? Yes sir, that, that's my normal <laughs> uh, ruck pace, yes.